What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series on Chicken Invaders. So I asked you guys in a poll if you wanted me to stick solely to Doom content, which is the main series on the channel right now, or start doing a side series where we go back and finish the unfinished series on the channel. At least until we hit our 4,000 subscribers mark and do Minecraft. So uh, yeah, and you guys voted for me to go ahead and go back and work on some unfinished series, so that's exactly what we're doing today. And uh, way back in 2018, I did a Christmas special on a game called Chicken Invaders 2, but I only did one playthrough of the campaign when it actually requires two playthroughs to even get 100% of the achievements, which obviously is the completions that I'm going to do. Uh, and I never did Chicken Invaders 1, so we're actually going to go back and do the entire Chicken Invaders series, and we're just going to kind of work on it on Saturday. It's going to be kind of our Saturday thing. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be starting on Chicken Invaders 1. Now, all the rest of the games in the Chicken Invaders series have a campaign, right? They have a campaign and everything, but this one is a little bit unique in as much as it's just one of those games where it's just got endless arcade levels that the difficulty just increases with each level and you're supposed to play and try to get a high score before you run out of your three lives and see how far you can get. I think the farthest I've ever seen somebody get was like level 145 maybe. When I was, I used to play this game when I was five years old. I think the furthest I ever got was like level 94, 95 or something like that. Uh, but so it was, it was pretty cool. But yeah, welcome everybody to the stream this morning. Welcome Lord Vader. Welcome Meow Cat. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And uh, yeah, we're getting started with some Chicken Invader stuff. It's going to be pretty stinking awesome. All right, so according to the description here, so this is kind of the backstory of the game. Sometime in the near future, Earth is invaded by chickens from another galaxy, bent on revenge against the human race for oppressing Earth chickens. Take the world's fate in your hands, or at least have an omelet in this modern rendition of the 80s classic, Save the World Today. Okay, so basically it's kind of a Space Invaders knockoff. And um, you're you're a guy who's driving a spaceship. You're fighting these alien chickens. Uh, yeah, you kill them. You eat the chicken that they drop, which gives you fuel for your rockets, which are kind of a super weapon. And... What else was there? Oh, I love this title screen, by the way. It's great. That's why I have it in the thumbnail. Uh, what else was there? There was something else about... Oh, yeah, the eggs that they drop are bombs, so you need to avoid those. A long time ago in a galaxy far away. Ha, huh, where have I heard that before? I don't know. Something makes me think. Yeah, that's a little bit new. Ah, Hisham, welcome. He says, hi. Well, I'm early. Yeah, yes, you are, Hisham. Welcome, welcome the stream. I don't know if those are chickens or if those are eggs. I think they're chickens. Okay, Lucas Gabriel, welcome to the stream. This is Chicken Invaders. Wow, what a name for a game. I know, right? It's really goofy, but it's great. All right, a couple of light years away, our hero is faced with problems of his own. Space burgers. <laughs> I'll have the chicken burger. Would you like fries with that? No joke, guys. Interaction Studios was one of my favorite developers as a kid, and they're still around. This game, Chicken Invaders, it has four sequels, all right? There's five Chicken Invaders games, and there's now a Chicken Invaders universe, which is an MMO in early access, so, and of course, we'll be playing that as well at some point. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. So all we have, this game is a lot more simple than the newer ones, because the newer ones, see, there's the eggs. We have to avoid those. The newer ones have um, different weapons and stuff, but all this one has the green blaster. But if you pick up presents that they drop, then you can... Ooh, that was, that was close. If you pick up presents that they drop, then you can get, uh... Basically an upgrade to your blaster. Okay, now it's very rare, but sometimes they don't give you a present on the first two levels. Okay, so see how I've got a rocket already? That's from... Eating all this chicken. Sometimes they don't give you a present on the first two levels, which is really crappy because the third level is asteroids coming at you, and you can't really destroy an asteroid very effectively with only single, being able to shoot single bullets out. So that's that's disappointing, to say the least. Oh, there's a present. All right, so see, now we got two bullets. So I think that goes up to like eight at a time. Okay, so now they're flying in the circle. So this is a little bit harder for avoiding eggs. And like I said, the eggs get faster 
And so do the chickens, for that matter, as the levels progress. But we're only on the first. Also, the, the, the ten levels and everything kind of repeat with minor variations. So, like, the second set of ten levels will have re Oh! Are you serious? I just got in the game and I've already died. Oh, crap. That is crappy because, like I said, there's only three lives. Oh, boy. The sixth level is usually where I use my rockets because these asteroids are hard to avoid because they come at you so fast. Whew, okay. All right, anyway. Oh, so I forgot to disable the text alert on my phone. Always some moron who wants to text me and ruin my uh, ruin my stream. So give me, a, give me a second, guys. Give me one second. All right, so I'm going to turn this text alert off. That's actually my fault. I should have disabled that before we start the stream. But I always forget. Alright. Anyway. So, me. Anyway, good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Merrick. Good afternoon to you as well, buddy. Alright, can't believe Star Wars copied this masterpiece. I know, right? For real. Imagine that. Imagine what a ripoff Star Wars is. The obviously much superior chicken invaders exist. <laughs> okay. Hey, Denver Go. Welcome to the streams, is F. Yeah. It's just like Galaga game. Uh, it's similar. You you can see you can see the uh, you can see the similarities. I really wanted that present, but it screwed me over there. Wait, wait, is Chicken Ward leader of those chickens? Chicken Ward? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, why isn't he here this morning for his namesake game? Oh, Shizzle, man. Oh no, wait. He actually said uh, that's the four, that's like the third present I've missed. Crap. I am doing so terrible. I was so good at this game when I was a kid. Why am I doing terrible now? I mean, I was five. You would think I would be better than I was when I was five. Hey, five-year-olds are just the better gamers, Cass. Admit it. No, I refuse. I re oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then after this, they start spreading out a little bit. So that's nice. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, I think Chicken Ward said in the Discord that he couldn't come to the stream because he'd have to pull an all-nighter. Whatever that meant. So, maybe a mini at homework or something. I don't know. So, anyway, like I said, this is a really fun game, and it only gets better as the series goes on. Though I think I've only ever played the first three. Well, no, that's not true. I might have played the fourth one as well. So, but I never played the fifth one, that's for sure. So, the third one was always my favorite. Okay, I think I've only finished the second one like once. All right, it was probably when we did that stream. Woohoo! Ooh. Okay, so see how they're fanning out now? The problem is when you get the fourth present, they don't actually give you like a fourth bullet. They just have the first three fan out, which sometimes isn't an advantage, like right now. This isn't exactly what you would call an advantage. This game looks so funny. Hey, Zero, welcome. Florentina, welcome to the stream. It is very funny. This is a great game. Okay, so see how like not see how like in these levels instead of going around in a circle They're just kind of fanning out kind of randomly. It's a lot harder to avoid their eggs when they do that So even if you stay in the corner So this is this is harder than like the first ten sets of levels in a way But as you can see the format for the levels just repeats All right, so I'm gonna use the rockets on this because those asteroids when they come down in waves like that are really difficult to avoid Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Anyway, I remember playing this when I was little. Really, Floor, and that's awesome. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad to know I wasn't the only one. Like I said, I played this game when I was like five years old. I was decently good at it, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad to. Uh, I'm glad to be able to play it now with you guys. Whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe this one might even be harder than the sixth one. All right, well, thankfully, we earned rockets at a rate where we could probably spare them enough to, like, skip level six and nine on each ten-level sequence. So this is the boss at the end of each level. He's really not that hard, and he gives you decent chicken awards, so, meh. All right, so we should be on level 21. Okay. Oh, goodness. But, yeah, no, this brings me back. And like I said, the furthest I ever got was, like, level... Nine, I want to say 95. It might have been 94. It was one of those. Crap! There was an egg behind that gift. That's why I couldn't get it. I would have blown up. That's crappy. Um. So, yeah. Maybe we'll pass that today. I don't know. That would be pretty awesome. The game does get hard at that point. So, I guess we'll see. I can't believe it. I would have been almost max blaster level by now. There we go. Okay. There we go. 
Also, I thought as a kid that even when you got presents past the max level, it would still make your power go up. It does not do that. Just so, just so everybody's aware, if you get more than eight presents, it doesn't unlock some magical secret at some point in time. Uh, why did I do that? Why? Why did I tr try to go towards where it was going? That was the dumbest possible thing I could have done. Oh, hey, it, it made a baby when I killed it. Imagine that. Imagine it making a baby. Mahadra, welcome. I begin to play Doom 3. That's cool, Zero. Very cool. Well, how do you like Doom 3 so far? Yay, nay, okay. <laughs> all right, the problem is we're only like 20 levels in and I've lost all of my extra lives. And then it's game over, baby. You don't get extra lives in this game. It's kind of arcadey in that sense. Ah! And I lost. I stinking lost. Okay. Well, that was a little short, so... Yeah, no, I think... Okay, we're gonna put Kess for this. Hold up. I think we're gonna try that one more time. Because <laughs> I wanted the stream to last a wee bit longer than 10 minutes. And I thought I could do a lot better than that. This was this was just the warm-up, guys. This was just the warm-up. That's all this was, okay? Sorry, I'll be back in a minute. Sounds good, Hisham. Uh, why are you saying car... Why are, what are you saying? Star Wars copied Spaceballs. And Spaceballs is a movie. Wait, really? Well, that's funny. Chicken Lord, welcome. He says, there a kill floor? If so, you should get to it. A kill floor? I don't know what a kill floor is, buddy. So, glad you made it to the stream, though. We were just talking about you. But I'm afraid I don't know what a kill floor is. Yeah, that was not... That was definitely not a good game for me. But that was just our warm-up, okay? This is the real... This is the real challenge right here. Uh, give three or four missed. Oh, yeah. I missed... I missed tons of them. That level. I did terrible. As well as... As well as, like, dying 20 levels in. Like I said, I'm capable of much better. But you know how it is. When you're streaming, you know, you're reading the chat. You're not paying 100% attention to the game. Oh, I see, Kess. So it's our fault you did bad. Well, now that you mention it, you know. Okay. Kess kills some of it, one of his mods named Chicken Lord in New Year's. Not clickbait. Oh, wait. Arnell's mom. <laughs> Welcome to stream, Arnell. I didn't think I'd see you this morning. I thought you'd be off on your ski trip and stuff. But I'm glad you could make it. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. All that good stuff. I mean, seriously. I died to an asteroid. An asteroid? Do I look like a stinking noob? Do I look like a stinking noob guy? You know what? Don't answer that. Don't even stink and answer that. I've always wanted to have a wave where I just destroyed every single asteroid. But that hasn't happened yet. Okay. But like I said, we're going to play through the entire Chicken Invader series. And believe me, the games require multiple playthroughs. Um, for example, Chicken Invaders 2, which is the other one we're playing this morning, requires two playthroughs to get all achievements. And Chicken Invaders 3 requires at least three playthroughs, but potentially many more as well. Why? Why am I an idiot? Why? I should have used my rocket. Uh, that's why I always skip the sixth level for that very, very reason. Uh, I hate myself sometimes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. There's just a wee bit of Kess hate down deep inside me. Uh, okay, it's okay, Cass. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. Tyson W says, hi, Cass. Hey, Tyson. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Playing some Chicken Invaders this morning. Doom 3 is a scary first-time play. Really? Okay, cool. All right. All righty. Take this fine fellow out. All right, anyway, you should show pet of this game. You look really tired. Well, I did just wake up like 30 minutes before the stream. So, I didn't even bother to comb my hair. I'm all a mess. I'm, I'm really not that tired. I slept great. I slept harder and longer than I have in most nights. So maybe that's why I'm tired. Maybe I'm getting caught up on sleep debt. I don't know. But the point is, I actually feel great. So. So, yeah. It's a, it's a good good day to be, good day to be Kess. Playing Chicken Invaders, hanging out with you guys on a Saturday morning. How much better could you get? All right, hold up. I'm going to pause so I can read the chat. Anyway, all jokes aside, Spaceballs Roy is a great movie. That's cool. Mm. 
Yes, do I look like a noob? Everyone nervous smile. <laughs> when the boss isn't a boss. Yeah, no, the bosses in this game are, are really actually very easy. So, but don't worry. They amp it up in the later Chicken Invaders games. Even Chicken Invaders 2 bosses were really easy. I think I streamed, when I streamed Chicken Invaders 2 a couple of years ago, I think it took me like 45 minutes. I don't think I even died once. Yeah, Chicken Invaders 1 is actually a lot harder than Chicken Invaders 2. So, I think I remember Chicken Invaders 3 being challenging as well, but I don't remember. But I feel like that's normal, though. Aren't the older games usually the harder ones? And why is that, anyway? Is it because... Is it because they made them hard intentionally to keep your interest going because they were more basic? And so they dropped that in newer games? Or is it just that they... Or is it just that they made newer games less hard intentionally. I also missed another present, by the way. So I don't really know why that is, but the newer Chicken Invaders games are much, much better than the old one. Like the old one was is good, but, but something else too is the old one is really the only free one. So that was my rocket, by the way, if you guys didn't pick up on that. Um, but no, for real though, the, the old one was the one I played the most, this first one, because the first one has always been free to play. It's always been shareware, where the newer ones were paid. So, and I remember I didn't own the second game as a kid. I, so I would just play through the demo over and over again, which only, which gave you, I think it gave you like the first 40 levels, or maybe it was 30. The first, it was like 20 or 30 levels out of a 100 level campaign, which was a pretty generous demo if you think about it. So I would just play that over and over again. Um, and then my father actually bought me and my younger brother the third game. So then we played that a lot because that was a great game. That's probably why it's my favorite. Hey, Elfin Wide, welcome to the stream. Um, hello, my good friend. Happy New Year. How are you? Hey, Jeremy. I am doing well, my friend. Hope you're doing good. Tyson says, oh, I ain't sleeping at all. I'm sorry, Tyson. When meteors are the real boss. Yeah, for real. Did you play Ghost and Goblins? I have never played Ghost and Goblins. Morning, how's your day going? So far, so good. We're playing some Chicken Invaders. Hanging out with you guys. It's a good morning. So, and again, this level. Now, Chicken Lord, what did you mean when you said, is there a floor? Is there like a level floor? Or, or some, there was some question you asked about that. Because, I mean, I don't know what a level floor is. This is just like an endless level arcade shooter type game. So, that was why I asked. Okay. Let's go over here. See guys, I'm a real pro. I made it past level 21. That's how you know you're a real pro at this game. So, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. All right, now the first asteroids wave is fine. It's not that hard if you just pay attention to what you're stinking doing. But the later ones, well, they get challenging. So it's it's the sixth and ninth levels that are the hard ones, asteroid-wise. Okay. All right, let's try to avoid all these little stinkers. Again, these are a lot easier than the crazy chickens that go everywhere. So, my guard hell's mom, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that's not nice. All right, anyway, in Japan, Mario 2 is different than Mario 2 that we got, really. Different how? I didn't thought it would be a shmup. <laughs> Ghost and Goblins is the most hardest game ever made, 1985, really? A kill floor, a point where those arcade games and such, it's how Pac-Man ends at level 256. Oh, I see. Um, no, there is not Chicken Lord. I'm assuming Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one, guys. That egg got real close to me. See, if that was one of the later levels, I wouldn't have survived that because the eggs dropped so quickly. All right. Oh, I sent... I, okay, so in that, that was a case where I fired the rocket too early before the asteroids showed up. That's why they didn't actually blow up. So that's an issue that you make. Your timing on your rockets has to be just right for asteroids. Otherwise, it'll blow up before they actually get here and then they won't be destroyed. Also, if you don't kill these chickens in time, then they get to you and hit you, and then you blow up, and then you're dead, and it's not a pretty picture. Um, also, 
Yeah, I, I know what you mean, but that was, wasn't that caused by like an 8-bit, based on the fact that the game was made for only an 8-bit machine? And that's the furthest an 8-bit level could go, was 256. In which case, that wouldn't be the case for this, because this is a 32-bit game, so. Yeah, Chicken Invaders would only... Why? Why am I so stupid? I should have known it was gonna come at me like that. Bro! I am a dumb dumb face. Oh, I get so mad at myself whenever I do poorly in this game. Uh, I thought I would I thought I would be being impressive and get to level 90 something with no effort. But no. I'm a sad sad loser. Oh well, I tried. Okay. Let's go over here. Grab all this. Oh, I'm gonna do, I, I'm, it's gonna be a pain to do Chicken Invaders 3, because that has an achievement for not dying once in a single campaign. We're gonna be here a while. Pura, welcome to stream, buddy. So, yeah, I guess wherever Chicken Invaders 1 would stop having levels is, I don't know, I don't know how far 32-bit by 32-bit would go. Probably in the millions, I'm guessing, before you would hit like a, a level floor or whatever it was you called it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Anyway, you're a gamer. Of course you're a pro at every game. <laughs> hey, thanks, Isham. I try, but not really. I actually stink for the most part, let's be honest. Oh, goodness. A kill screen? There are different games. Uh, no, there's no kill screen on this either. So, I mean, it gives you a, it gives you a place to put your name for a high score, but otherwise, no. Just a very arcadey type shooter. Pearl, I'll read your comment in a second, buddy. Okay, so we're on level 40 something, I think, right? Or no, it'd be 30 something. That's right. Come on, baby, come on. Yeah, 34. Okay. So Mario 2 we has got a reskin game, but in Japan's the later released games lost levels. Dang. Got sent you a video explaining Mario 2 a couple months ago. You did? Huh, I must have forgotten. Persons was playing a game and killed a group of seven people alone. I had, they had M4s and I had one Deagle. Dang, that's impressive. Chicken Lord says, so when Kess was playing this a baby, I was playing Galaga as a baby. <laughs> Max3, welcome. He says, now this is content. Hey, Kess finally came home. Could be on PC again. It's the first thing I did fire up the stream. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear, Max. Thank you. I wish I could say, wish I could give you good news, but unfortunately I'm getting myself pulmerized. Um, the chickens are destroying my face, which is a shame because like I like I keep promising to everybody I was actually good at this as a kid um, But now I'm now I'm a stinking failure. So yeah, no, no pressure or anything So but yeah, we're trying like I think the like I died like on level 21 last time and now I'm like on level 34 There we go that that was the that was good timing for the rockets Woohoo! Okay Okay, okay, I'm getting this present. I'm getting this present, baby. Woohoo! There we go. Alright. Now we're now we're now we're getting somewhere. Got a new rocket too. Uh -huh. Scary stuff, guys. Scary stuff. Hold up. Oh, I'm getting that other present. I'm getting that other present, baby. Alright, I think we need like one more present and then we're at the max. Firing. There we go. All right, boss time, baby. Let's go. It'll be a lot easier now that I have so many bullets. No! Why? Why? I'm so present greedy! <sighs> it's at times like this that I really hate myself. A lot. Also, who else is getting epileptic seizures from this? Anyway, so well, you also keep on saying level level one hundred campaign. That's for the that's for the second games, Chicken Lord. The second the second game and the third one and so on to have level one hundred campaigns. Oh, the chickens get one hundred HP. Can take a hundred hits. I have no idea. So they do they do take more hits going on. Well, Decino just gave a heart to my comment, replied to me. Yay, that's good, Hisham. That's that's great. Okay. I uh, genuinely love these pre-rendered graphics. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So now this is this is being this is using 1440p instead of whatever the 
600 by 480 that it is. It's a little bit stretched because I'm running it through, uh, what do you call it? What's the name of that program that I used the other day? GG Voodoo 2. I'm sorry. Again, guys, I did just wake up a little while ago, so my head isn't all fully here yet. And obviously, neither are my skills. So can I get a rip in the chat? Streams against PETA. When I got home, I got my PC, got on the stream. Look at all those chickens. Not in P4. Hey, Third Eye. Welcome to the stream, brother. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, Meow Cat says, I knew that would happen. Me, I'm getting epilepsy. Poor Pro. Pog. I think the furthest I got is some, I don't know, levels. But I remember I rarely got some gigantic Giga Mega Boss Fight Egg. Man, I don't know. I was like seven. Giga Mega Boss Fight Egg. That sounds like Chicken Invaders 2. Doom is the most Christian game, yay or nay. Hey, Umbro, welcome. Um, you know, people have asked me that before. I don't know if I'd call it the most Christian game. But, yeah. I mean, as a Christian, I don't have a problem with playing it. Alrighty, guys, that was Chicken Invaders 1, and there was a little ad right at the end, end screen there saying, uh, look on the, be on the lookout for the sequel, Chicken Invaders 2. So, pretty fun stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Chicken Invaders 1. I am going to stop the stream right here and set up a new stream page. Dang, people be adding me to their friends list. Woo, I am a popular man on Steam. Good stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to be stopping the stream here, guys. We're going to install Chicken Invaders 2, the next wave remastered. This is the remastered version. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and we are going to go ahead and start on the second game. Now, like I said, this one is a 100-level campaign. We're going to be pay playing it twice, once on rookie difficulty without using any rockets, and then once on veteran difficulty without using any rockets in order to unlock all four achievements. That did not take any time at all to install. So, yeah, I'm going to give me like 10 or 15 minutes to get the new stream page created, and then we'll be going live over there, and I'll announce it again in Discord when we do. All right. What's more Christian than going to hell and killing demons? Good point. All right. Anyway, so what time is it in America, says Sean? Well, here it's 8.29 a.m. All righty. So Max is on one PC. I played Chicken Bears 1, and later I got two for my uncle, so it might have been two. Okay. Oh, Kess, his name is Richard. Oh, good guess, bro. All right. Anyway. Well, I checked how many numbers can be stored inside 32-bit memory, depending on what type of data type they used. Kill or four could either be two billions or four billions and a few dozen millions. Okay, well, thanks for the information, Merrick. So, yeah, there, there's your answer, Chicken Lord. There's your answer. It would be a few millions and billions of levels, which would never be possible because the game just gets way too darn fast to the point where it becomes luck-based. Anyway, I want your wallpaper. Well, Hisham, um, you want my wallpaper. Hold up a second. I know this. The streams. The streams over, guys. Thanks for watching. You can you can leave now if you want to. I'm just gonna get Hashama's wallpaper real quick. So, uh, but yeah, that was that was really fun. I enjoyed Chicken Invaders One. It was good to play it again after all these years. I thought I would be much better at it, um, but unfortunately, I am not, which is really really sad. Like it's it's just sad, guys. It's sad. So let's go to down here. And here's the link. All right, Hisham, here's your link. Have fun, buddy. Your parents didn't want you to play Doom, but they wanted you to play this fine game. Yeah, they allowed me to play the game where I blew up chickens. Imagine, crazy, isn't it? Can you believe that? Uh, Cass, can you just change the name of the stream? No, I can't, Pero, because then it would be all connected, and it's supposed to be separated for archiving purposes. Alrighty, guys. So anyway, this has been Chicken Invaders 1. Thanks so much for watching. It was pretty short, um, mostly because I died really early. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We will be back in a few minutes with Chicken Invaders 2. So yeah, don't go anywhere. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I'll see you all at the top.